Hi everybody, this is Angie. In this video, I'm going to share with you six items that help keep us organized and make everyday life easier. Stay tuned. One of the many ways that we keep organized is by using baskets and I use those in several different ways so I will show you just a few things that I have done and put in baskets to help make our life easier. Up here I have put baskets with some of my craft stuff in it and labeled them because I'm kind of meticulous like that sometimes so it helps so that things don't fall out and become disorganized because it's a nice cabinet but it would soon be a mess so it's nice to just have baskets in there and i've done that on both sides so come along and i'll show you a few more ways that i have used baskets so we have baskets here to help maximize our space in our pantry so there's two things with this that i wanted to show you really quick is i have the baskets here but to ensure that they don't go anywhere while we're traveling i have some spring rods that i bought that i put in here that hold this door shut as well as hold the baskets in. So that helps maximize our pantry space, make things accessible. The other thing we've used is fabric cubes. This is a nice big space. And while in transit, things tend to fall forward or get shuffled around and that helps keep things all together and nice and snug. So I have a shoe holder here that holds like my knit hats and an umbrella and flip-flops and it was four wide and I cut it and have it three wide and just sewed some edging on the edge and then Sean mounted it for me on the closet at this places where there was backing board behind it so it didn't pull through so that we can or have a few more places to organize things and I used the other section in the bathroom. Let me show you. Okay, this is the other section that we used and I just put it right between the washer and the cabinet because I figured it wasn't in the way, it's not in the walkway, everything's really accessible, it's all of our laundry supplies and it was a good use of space, I thought. And I already had it because it was one that hung over the door at home and then I just converted it and put it in my trailer. So this is the top half of the shoe holder that hung over the door that we had from home that I cut in half and we mounted it here and it has like gloves, mosquito repellent, the dog stuff, my gloves, our shoes so that we can take them off when we come in. Um, so it's just right by the door, super convenient. One of the things we use every single day. We purchased some that go under the edge of your bed for your shoes and we have his and hers. Obviously mine's full, his isn't. And they're nice and deep, which the ones that hang over your door aren't. And these ones are very deep. So I have boots on my side. So we have one of each. This is a clothesline Sean put in. We use it probably three or four times a week. Um, I hang a towel on it after we take a shower. Um, comes in extremely handy. And I have three different or four different ideas for, to help hang things dry in the trailer that we utilize all the time. Um, let me show you what those other two are. One of the other things we added is this shower curtain rod. Simple as that, it's just a shower curtain rod. This is closet rod cups that he hung it on and screwed it in. And when we do laundry, I hang up the laundry there. We have a DC fan so that if I have clothes hanging here and on the clothesline that we can plug in the fan, it clips right there on the window valance and it osculates and dries everything within about an hour and a half. So that's fabulous. Get all the fingers oh, in there. hello, Rocky. So another rod we added was again just a shower curtain rod. Same thing, cups to hold it in place. 
This works really great for boondocking when we have something that's wet or we have a rain jacket that's wet. We just come in and hang it in here in the shower so it drips in the shower, which works awesome. Um, the other thing I do is when I do laundry, because I usually just wash and hang dry, was I bought this at Camping World. I think it was five bucks and it hangs over the rod in the shower and you can hang all your socks and underwear on it. And ponytail holds it closed and then you can store it anywhere. So just as easy as that, holds it together. Um, the other thing while we're here that we do a ponytail for is obviously I looped it over here so I can hook my cupboard shut so it stays there. The other thing in the bathroom that I use a ponytail for is I have it on the toilet paper. So when you're traveling that it just fits over the toilet paper so that when you get to your destination it's not rolled out all over the floor. Okay, so another thing that we use ponytail holders for is on the windows, especially on these ones that are exits. Because if you have them open, you know that when the wind blows, they can just pull out. So I have a ponytail going from the latch to the arm to hold it in place. So when this is off, just on this particular window, I have this latch here and it actually holds my bedroom door open. So it's a dual purpose, but I have it on all of my exit windows to hold them closed while we're going down the road. And then also when they're out to hold them so they don't flip out and bang against the trailer. Another thing that we have lots of is hooks because it seems like you never have enough storage and it helps organize your storage. And so I will go around and show you just a few places that we have added hooks upon hooks so we can be organized. We have hooks up here that we added for a hat or a jacket when you walk in the door. We have hooks down here underneath the edge of the counter that I've put the dog stuff on. I have hooks over here that we have keys on. And then I have hooks over here that we have coffee cups on. And then we have more hooks in the bedroom. So I added two, had Sean add two sets of hooks in here, his and hers. Mine has a jacket and a belt. His usually has a hat and a jacket. We also have the over the door hooks that we added to the closet, to the bathroom door that we can hang a jacket on. So there's just hooks and hooks and hooks. And I also have another set in the bathroom to show you. I had Sean add a couple of hooks here. I do have an organizer for my jewelry, but what I've worn recently or what I take off, I have a couple hooks there to hang it. So I have this container that I think we got at Harbor Freight for $2 and it has snaps and I've just separated all my jewelry into that. Fast, fast, fast. Way more than I ever will wear. But you never know what you're going to need. One of the additions we added in the kitchen, well, a couple that we've added in the kitchen that we use all the time are the spice rack. Um, it wasn't the color I wanted, so I stained it. So the knife magnet has been a great addition. Um, we weren't sure how well it would hold when we traveled, but it has done really well. In our previous trailers, there was a knife block behind the stove. This one didn't have one. And that has worked out really well because knives take up a lot of room in a little teeny drawer. One of the other things that we added in several places of our trailer was shelves. Um, in the kitchen here, we ordered, added organization shelves for the cabinets and in several different sizes. And I will show you. We have them for our plates. We have them for dry goods and I have little bucket shelves for extra food and put the non-skid surface stuff shelf paper on and it's perfect. Uh, everything rides really well. So, I mean, I think once I've had like a box of brownies fall, but that was all. In the bathroom, we've used shelves in every room. We added this cupboard that was close, as close as we could get to our cabinets. 
Um, and we used it to add, you know, simple bathroom toiletries. One of the other places, obviously, is the bedroom. Um, we searched and searched for shelving. We're worried about weight. We were worried about if I put a wire rack in here and my clothes are on it, if we're in humidity, would it rust the clothes, things like that. So I was very concerned about that. So we talked about wire racks that are plastic coated and we just didn't find anything that fit the space. After much searching, we found some a shoe shelf that we actually only use two parts two shelves one shelf of two rungs of it's just little pcv pipe and a fabric um shelf that we could put our clothes on which obviously helps use this space because it's very large so it's nice to have it organized and we have one on both sides his and hers and um that worked out fantastic and it was fairly inexpensive we I think it was like 20 bucks and we used like half of it so that was great thanks for watching i hope it gave you an idea or two if you like the video give us a thumbs up leave us a comment if you'd like to get to know us better please subscribe and until next time see you later oh look at that jazz